thank you all for being here. Uh, and thank you for finding the other uh, place, because it's, of course, not our usual spot. Um, and thank you, Olivier Roy. It's my great honor to introduce my professor from the European University Institute here at Cambridge. And uh, I think most of you already know him, uh, famous from books of uh, globalized Islam and the failure of political Islam. And I think, especially the last decade, emphasizing also the more broader uh, topic of the relationship between religion and culture and the deculturalization of religion on all its social and political implications. I will leave it to this. I will leave you all the time to talk. And uh, without further ado, go right ahead. Thank you very much. So it's the last lecture on Europe before Brexit. <laughs> um, uh, and now we'll be free to speak British English. We can shift you know, to European English. <laughs> yeah. um, the founding fathers of Europe were uh, mainly Christian Democrats. We had uh, the founding fathers. It was a mix of uh, Christian Democrats and Social Democrats. Uh, most of the Christian Democrats were by definition Christians. And in this case, uh, they were devout Christians. De Gasperi, uh, Robert Schumann, uh, Adenauer, you know, uh, there are even be, uh, uh, stories about uh, uh, appoint, not appoint, you know, but uh, declaring, you know, some of them saints of the Catholic uh, uh, Church. But they never mentioned Christianity. Uh, in the uh, founding documents of Europe. Never. No. Uh, and uh, probably it was because for them it was obvious uh, that there was absolutely no need to mention that Christian is, uh, Europe is Christian. Specifically, you know, the, uh, um, the six founding countries uh, where uh, uh, you had, the, of course, Catholics and Protestants, uh, of course, France claimed to be, uh, first of all, secular, but it's profoundly a Catholic country. So uh, there was no issue about that. Uh, the issue came uh, when debating the European Constitution of 2004. Yeah. And there was a proposal made by uh, uh, members of Parliament, Parliament of the European Parliament, most of them Catholics, uh, uh, who wanted to uh, have a mention in the preamble of the Constitution on the Christian roots of Europe. Uh, and the Pope, uh, uh, Benedict, supported you know, uh, very vocally this uh, uh, claim. And it failed. It failed mainly because of the French uh, state, not just government, because both the President and the Prime Minister did agree on that. You know. uh, but there was... Uh, uh, Yes, uh, 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 real debate on that. So, you know, what did happen in 50 years? In the 50s, no mention. And in the uh, 2000s, suddenly, a hot issue uh, with a lot of public debates. What happened is very simple, you know, de-Christianization. The fact that Europe stopped to be Christian. One point, and the other point, Islam. Uh, the big issue in the 90s uh, concerning religion in Europe was, of course, about Islam, from two point, points of view. One, you know, uh, when people realized that the labor migration, uh, which uh, uh, happened in the 60s and 70s, led to a permanent settlement of a Muslim population in Europe. So the uh, 90s were the time of the second generation Muslims. Yeah. Uh, the first veil affair, or scarf affair, in France happened in 89. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a turning point because suddenly the public opinion realized that uh, the children of uh, uh, Arab migrants might be Muslims. Yeah. Uh, the term Muslim was never used before to qualify the migrants. Uh, the terms which were used were either migrants or Arabs, or North Africans, or Turks, or Pakistanis. Mm. Uh, 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 so, uh, ethnico-geographic terms, yeah. but never Muslims. Yeah. And from the uh, uh, 90s, uh, the term Muslims uh, used to uh, supersede you know, the other terms uh, in uh, Europe. And the second element pertaining to Islam was the Turkish candidacy 
uh, to the European Union. In the 90s, uh, the Turkish state was a secular state, a uh, uh, Kemalist state, but uh, uh, it was not a real argument for many people in Europe. They said the society is Muslim, uh, and it's a big country, uh, 60 at the time, 60 million people. So uh, if we um, accept the candidacy of uh, Turkey, then we will uh, change the religious balance in Europe. So uh, uh, I would say that the people who wanted to enshrine you know, the um, Christian identity in, in, uh, of Europe in the constitutions were principally motivated by uh, the, uh, uh, what they see as an Islamic issue from inside immigration and from outside Turkey. Um, uh, and since that we had we have the debate. Uh, because you know 2000 it's the, uh, well, it's the late 90s, 2000 is the period of the rise of the populist parties. And clearly all the populist parties have on their agenda you know, immigration and or Islam because for them it's the same. Uh, uh, a critic of uh, Brussels and of, of the elites. Uh, let's use the term populism, you know, uh, as vaguely uh, uh, defined uh, against Islam, Brussels, and political elites. Mm. Uh, but most, uh, uh, but the, the electoral successes were mainly due to their uh, anti-Islamic, uh, uh, anti-Muslim uh, stand. Mm. Um, so. Uh, what is the relationship between de-Christianization de and uh, Islam? There is no. no there is no. Uh, if we look at uh, the um, uh, religious evolution of Europe, of course it depends on countries and so on, but we have, a, if we take the long term, uh, it's uh, very uh, uh, similar. Before, uh, so secularization started, I would say, at the end of the 18th century. Mm. Uh, secularization just means that religion is no more at the center of culture, of uh, personal lives, uh, uh, of uh, politics. <coughs> but it doesn't mean that people stop to be religious. Mm. They could be practicing uh, still, uh, but with, uh, with little impact on uh, uh, political life. Uh, so we have a slow secularization of Europe, um, usually associated with a decrease of religious practices. But it doesn't touch, uh, in a sense, the culture. What do I mean by that? You know, uh, The big rift of uh, enlightenment um, was on the foundation of truth. Mm -hmm. Where is the truth? You know, is it God? Is it uh, reason? Is it uh, a human being? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the consequence of the Enlightenment was that the truth was no more founded in, a revel in, a re in revelation in God. Mm -hmm. But the moral, mm -hmm. uh, the values, were just secularized Christian values. Mm. Uh, Descartes and Kant you know, didn't bring a new moral. Mm -hmm. uh, they just tried to, found, to uh, uh, found the same moral mm, differently, not uh, without any reference to God. That, that's exactly what Kant said. You know. The moral of Kant is a secularized Christian moral. Mm. And uh, during the uh, 19th century, the secularization of the law, for instance, uh, was just a secularization of moral values, of Christian values. Uh, the conception of uh, gender, of family, procreation, um, uh, good and bad, uh, the perception of homosexuality, well, it was just you know, a Christian view, secularized. No. Uh, the only big debate between the church and the states uh, uh, about values was on divorce. So. Uh, the church opposed divorce during all the 19th century. 
the church lost, as usual, eh, the church always lost. Uh, that will be the conclusion, you know. Uh, the church lost, but the diver divorce was defined, I would say, as a failure. Eh? Uh, uh, it was not, you know, uh, uh, marriage was not uh, defined just as a contract between two independent people. No, no. Uh, it was still the foundation of the family, and so to divorce, you had to prove that the other uh, 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 made a fault uh, that uh, was faulty. Uh, so we have the secularization of sin, if I can say that. So even you know in this uh, big issue between the church and the state, still uh, the uh, referential, uh, uh, the moral paradigm was a Christian uh, one. one. Uh, when uh, Jules Ferry created in France setup, let's say uh, the compulsory secular uh, school system. Um, he said that so there is no room for religion um, in, this, uh, in the secular schools, that of course religion, uh, uh, the churches have the right to teach, uh, uh, but outside you know, uh, the um, uh, hours of uh, uh, secular teaching. Uh, and uh, he was asked by many school teachers, <coughs> Uh, okay, but uh, there is a course on moral. Mm. What do we teach? You know, uh, if we are not supposed to refer to Christianity, mm. what do we teach? No. And he wrote a very interesting uh, letter uh, to the teachers, mm, saying, you know, moral is like arithmetic. It's the same for everybody. Mm. There is no secular moral and a religious moral. We all share the same moral. So as long as you stick to this uh, 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 system of values, uh, uh, you do well. You should not enter into the issue of theology. Uh, what is the foundation of moral? Uh, uh, what is the truth? And so you should not. This is not your job. And he has a famous uh, uh, sentence. Uh, you should teach everything that a good family father could accept. You know, uh, uh, and then uh, he said you should speak to the reason of the fathers and to the feelings of the mothers. You know, so, you know, nothing specifically um, new you know, in this uh, vision of the secular vision of the world. Mm. And we can say that until the 60s, mm, uh, in most of the European countries, the secular law was a Christian, uh, uh, a secularized Christian uh, uh, law. Um, uh, and you have interesting differences, for instance. Homosexuality was criminalized in Protestant countries, not in Catholic countries. Okay. Uh, in Catholic countries, it was treated, you know, as something like uh, immoral conduct, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but not as a specific crime. Uh, uh, prostitution, for instance, was more uh, uh, condemned in Protestant countries than in Catholic countries. We can have many explanations about that, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 the idea was still, you know, that in Catholic countries, uh, uh, still the church has something to say uh, uh, about morality, while in Protestant countries the state is in charge of virtue. You, know, you don't have a church which opposes the, uh, this, the state about virtue. Mm. Uh, virtue, to impose virtue is a duty of the state. Uh, while uh, in Catholic countries, including France, you know, uh, 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 there are more flexibility on the, precisely the conception of sin. Mm. Um, so it's a theological issue, we will not uh, uh, enter into it. But roughly speaking, you know, uh, divorce was the only bone of contention uh, between the church and the secular state uh, uh, until the 60s. Abortion, you know, most of the states banned abortion. Uh, and it was not because of the church. Uh, in France, abortion was uh, banned uh, in 1921 by the parliament, you know, and everybody voted for it. You know. Uh, even the Communist Party uh, uh, in France, for instance, uh, and in Italy, the same. They were the two strong Communist parties were uh, in France and Italy in, in the West. Mm. They didn't fight, you know, um, on a contraception, for instance. You know, they didn't really fight to free abortion. Uh, the anti-abortion movement was not done by uh, the the left. Uh, and in France, it's uh, a government of the right, Giscard d'Estaing, who uh, uh, changed uh, the laws uh, concerning abortion, divorce, and so and so. So it's not a left-right uh, uh, issue on morality. 
Christian Democrats and Social Democrats had the same uh, moral, uh, the same view. Uh, it's why they could ally to found Europe. Uh, they believed in solidarity, in redistribution, in welfare state. They, they gave different names uh, to uh, uh, that conception also. Uh, they also uh, and the Christian Democrats added the concept of subsidiarity, uh, which is taken from the um, uh, uh, Catholic theology, uh, especially uh, from uh, the encyclic uh, Rerum Novarum uh, of, uh, of, of uh, 19, uh, um, uh, 1893. Uh, more or less. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, uh, once again, you know, um, the issue is Europe Christian was not a really uh, a real issue because even the um, uh, secularists uh, were you know, following um, secularized Christian uh, morality. Um, and uh, uh, of course, we had a decline of religious practices everywhere. Um, it started by the working class, mm, almost everywhere, mm, uh, then by the uh, urban population. Mm, so the uh, peasantry was still more or less, you know, uh, uh, close to the, uh, to the church. But uh, in the early 1940s, uh, there was a pamphlet written by a priest, a French priest, Godin, uh, uh, Father Godin, uh, and the title was uh, France, Land of Mission, mm. Land of a Missionary Movement. We should go back to missions because uh, France is no more a Christian country. So we should send missionaries instead of uh, having just uh, 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 parish priests. Mm. We should go uh, uh, for a, a missionary movement. So uh, the church, uh, and, and they know what they're speaking about, of course, you know, uh, uh, realized the uh, uh, the decrease of uh, uh, Christian practi religious practices among Christians. But it, it, it had no, I would say, moral impact. And uh, at that time, from, from the 30s, we uh, had a huge uh, development of uh, sociology of religion. Yeah. Uh, Hervé Lebras, and so that in the uh, continuation of Durkheim. But uh, these guys were usually Catholics. Hmm and uh, the sociologists. So they wanted still to take into account you know, the uh, faith dimension you know, while uh, studying religion from a, a, a purely uh, a sociological point of view. So they, ha they established a uh, um, uh, conceptual you know, framework where you had distinction between uh, uh, people going to the church every week, people going to the church every month, every year, only uh, for uh, 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 Good Friday, uh, only for uh, uh, marriage, uh, and, or never. So you had, um, uh, it's good because you can make quantitative studies with this kind of uh, 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 spectrum. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, the church uh, was uh, trying, uh, of course, to uh, push, you know, uh, uh, to the direction of uh, 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 the weekly uh, mass. So uh, we are looking for the people who say that they believe, but not enough to go to the mass, and so and so. So we had no two sides, uh, except at the two ends of the spectrum, of course, between atheists you know, and uh, strong believers. But in the middle, uh, you had a continuity. And anti-clericalism uh, 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 in France was, I would say, a political fight. It was a fight between the Republic and the Catholic Church. Uh, it was not a fight between the Republic and the religion. Uh, the Jews and the Protestants always supported the Republic against the Catholic Church. Uh, and I must say, uh, uh, sometimes we still have this kind of uh, 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 unholy alliance, you know, uh, in the army, for instance. Uh, you have uh, um, uh, um, chaplains, yeah, yeah, uh, so four ch uh, chaplaincy, yeah. Catholic, uh, uh, Protestant, Jewish, and Muslim. But, uh, so they are all called, uh, 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 the head of each chaplaincy called uh, head chaplain, uh, Jewish, no, no, in France we say Israeli, so it's a uh, uh, head chaplain, Protestant head chaplain, Muslim head chaplain. But, 
the Catholic chaplaincy, the head of the Catholic chaplaincy, is the bishop to the armies. No. <laughs> and so the three of us, they say, look, uh, 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 there is no real equality of religion in France, which is true, which is true. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so still, so it was not an anti-religious movement, as is my phenomenon. It could be in political, uh, cultural and political terms, but it was not uh, 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 view as such. The law of 1905 is a law of separation of church and state. It's not, contrary to many people think in France, a law which make, makes religion private. Absolutely not. The law is on the religious practices, cult in, in French. Religious practices. The law doesn't say anything about faith, of course. The law doesn't say anything about theology, of course. And it doesn't say anything about private feelings, of course. You know. He, the law, uh, 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 set the rules where you, uh, you can practice your religion in the public space. You know. For instance, ringing the bells, having a procession, praying in the streets, asking uh, uh, for a, a holiday, a religious holiday when you are a public uh, servant, and things like that. You know. uh, uh, the law prohibits, uh, of course, uh, 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 any subvention from the state to any uh, religious uh, uh, communities, uh, but uh, the law recognizes uh, freedom of religion. Uh, and after 20 years of uh, uh, struggle with the Catholic Church, they found an agreement on uh, 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 recognizing the Catholic hierarchy. Uh, because the law at the beginning was not, uh, uh, it was a very democratic law. You know, the local faith communities were supposed to appoint uh, the head of the local religious community. So f for the Protestants, no problem. Uh, for the Jews, no problem. Uh, there was no Muslims, but if uh, they were Muslims, there would have been no problem. Uh, but for the Catholic Church, of course, uh, the only guy you know, who could appoint a priest is the bishop. And the only guy who could appoint a bishop is the Pope. So, uh, uh, they found a uh, uh, compromise uh, in, in, the, in the 20s. All that to, uh, uh, to say uh, that until the 60s, uh, the debate was not on values. It was not on culture. What did happen in the 60s? Well, the 60s, you know, uh, 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 total change, <laughs> total change uh, in uh, uh, the conception of sexuality, gender, uh, um, uh, freedom based on the, uh, defined as the uh, freedom of uh, desiring individual, etc., mm, uh, etc. Et mm -hmm. The 60s were not anti-religious at all. And many priests, you know, uh, were quite happy at the beginning after either they married or um, uh, they went to the monastery because um, they couldn't stand up you know, stand the situation. Uh, uh, but uh, the 60s were not at all an anti-religious movement, uh, nor an anti-Christian movement. Uh, uh, you had a, a lot of uh, spiritual, you know, new spiritualities and so on and so on. Um, and uh, at the time, uh, people were concentrating on the political dimension of the 60s, the revolution. Uh, that was a big Weird, you know, like jihad now, revolution. Uh, 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 revolution didn't happen at all, you know. Uh, we had to go to Bolivia or uh, Vietnam so to see any religion, but locally, uh, uh, no, it didn't work, you know. Uh, uh, so politically, there is little uh, legacy. But uh, in terms of values and culture, yes, because, and that's something which is very important, the new values of the 60s were quickly endorsed by the law. No. And not because the leftists took the power. As I said, in France, it's Giscard d'Estaing, who uh, uh, had you know, most of the um, changes uh, of the 60s enshrined in the law. No. Equality of men and women in the marriage. No. That was new. No. No. Uh, uh, before, a uh, woman, uh, married woman, couldn't work without written authorization of her husband. Uh, we, we tend to forget all that, you know. Uh, 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 abortion, divorce as a, 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 a choice, you know, a, a common agreement. So if you uh, decide to get divorce, you divorce. But you don't have to prove that the other is faulty and so on and so on. And so I don't will go into detail, just think, you know, about the. Uh, uh, what happened in different countries at different speed, uh, 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 of course. Yeah. 
but from uh, uh, contraception to homosexual marriage, uh, we have a continuity of the um, uh, inscription of uh, the new values in the secular law, in the state law. Almost everywhere, including in Italy, uh, of course, at a different uh, scale. Uh, Ireland is a, a very good example, you know, of the sudden changes of uh, 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 the dominant values, you know, total reverse in 20 years, in 20 years. Um, so, and the church uh, 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 saw from the beginning, so the, uh, the church, or at least Paul the Pope, it's uh, his job, his job, of course, um, but the Pope Paul the VI uh, 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 wrote the encyclical letter Humanae Vitae in July 68. Uh, and he, uh, of course, I had no opportunity to interview him, but uh, he obviously grasped immediately what was at stake. Uh, and the encyclical letter Humanae Vitae, it's a, a, a total normative encyclical about sexuality. And sexuality in the large sense of the term. So it includes, of course, uh, 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 gender relations, mm, uh, uh, family, and so on. And it's from this moment that the issue of uh, uh, family, uh, gender, procreation, uh, uh, freedom of sexuality became, you know, the, the core of the Catholic Church rejection of the new uh, cultural system. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, uh, in the U.S. at that time, uh, or just a bit after, in the 70s, it was not the Catholic Church, it was the Evangelicals. Mm. So still we have, you know, a symmetry. Uh, the fight on values was uh, led in Europe by the Catholic Church and the USA by the Protestant Evangelicals. Uh, um, the, the American Catholic Church joined the fight mm, in the USA mm, and provided uh, that, by the way, most of the intellectuals uh, uh, with, uh, who are lacking uh, among the Evangelicals uh, 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 <laughs> okay, uh, but look at the uh, um, uh, Supreme Court. You don't have one Protestant at the Supreme Court in the USA. Uh, it's a country where you have a majority of Protestants, no one Protestant. All the uh, conservatives are Catholics, hmm, and all the progressives are uh, Jews. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, secular Jews, of course, of course, of course. Uh, 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 yeah, the, the last. Um, Appointed guy, he was a Kavanoff, so it's a. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, in Europe, uh, the Protestants are almost absent. Why? Because they, that's my theory, and they don't always like my theory. They self secularize. <laughs> they self secularize. The perfect example are the Lutheran churches, and especially the Scandinavian Lutheran churches, you know. Um, uh, these Lutheran churches are churches of the uh, people, eh? not the of the state, of the people. So the parliament represents the people. So when the parliament pass, passes a law, well, the church has to obey the law. So when the parliament, you know, in Norway, for instance, decided that, that same, uh, sex marriage is legal, the church is obliged to celebrate religiously a same-sex marriage. So. Of course, they introduced a uh, uh, um, uh, consciousness objection. Uh, uh, so the, uh, the pastors, the priests, as individuals, uh, might refuse, you know, mm -hmm. as individuals. But the church, as a body, has to find a pastor uh, uh, who uh, uh, accepts to marry religiously a gay couple. And there is no problem with that, because uh, most of the pastors see no, uh, see no problems to, to, to do that. Uh, so here we have a complete self-secularization, which means that the church uh, uh, has endorsed uh, the churches, the Italian churches, most of them has endorsed the new value system. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as you know, there are many debates in the Anglican church, uh, you, have, you have almost a divorce, if I can say that, you know, uh, on values. Uh, uh, you have some small uh, Protestant churches uh, who um, uh, uh, oppose, you know, uh, uh, these uh, changes and values, and you have the uh, new evangelicals coming from the, uh, uh, usually from the USA, but recruiting, you know, among um, uh, uh, poor second generation people uh, in Europe. But these uh, new evangelicals in Europe, 
they don't care about the Christian identity of Europe because they don't care of Europe. Uh, uh, they consider themselves as a global church. Uh, 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 and they are not interested. It was, it, it's not, uh, 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 and Hunter is very clear on that, it has nothing to do with Huntington. Huntington says that we don't have the same values than the other uh, uh, cultures. But uh, Hunter's culture wars is a war inside you know, the USA for him, and inside Europe uh, for me. It's a war on values. You know. so, uh, uh, then, uh, so the church from the beginning, from the 60s, uh, opposed uh, uh, the, uh, the pagan term of Europe. Uh, 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 John Paul II and uh, Benedict uh, uh, XVI, they used the term. Uh, the dominant culture in Europe is pagan. Uh, and we, the believers, uh, we are a minority now, so we have to reconquer uh, Europe, to send a new mission, and so And of course, for the church, um, um, no, we will go, go back to that, yeah. Um, then we came, we arrived, you know, in the 2000s, and the new movement of populists. You know. The populists, as I said, uh, didn't care about um, uh, the uh, value debates uh, of the 60s. Their problem was how to oppose Muslims, Islam. So they used two categories. One is European values, or national values, uh, European values. Uh, Islam is not compatible with uh, European values. The second argument is Christian identity of Europe. Uh, we have a Christian identity, so uh, no room for uh, uh, Islam. The problem is, what are the relations between uh, uh, European values and Christian identity. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and of course the populists uh, uh, carefully avoid to uh, uh, go too uh, deep in this debate. But the church is very aware you know, of the difference. For the church, yes, there is a Christian identity of Europe. Oh, that's clear. Uh, 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 but this Christian identity should be based on Christian values. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these Christian values, it's a, a set of values which uh, you cannot pick the ones you like and reject the ones you don't like, you know. So uh, Christian values, it's uh, life, so anti-abortion, but it's also hospitality, mm -hmm. charity, mm -hmm. and uh, loving your enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have a, a mix of norms mm -hmm. and of uh, uh, values. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not, uh, uh, you cannot separate, you know, between good values and uh, 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 bad norms or uh, good norms and uh, bad uh, uh, values. But for the populist movement, and here we, we can enter into the sociology of uh, uh, populist movement, the, most of the populist movement are pure product of the 60s. You know? uh, uh, the conception of uh, uh, sexual freedom, uh, 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 um, is a, a product of the 60s. Of course, you have a gradation between the northern populists who are uh, uh, totally liberal in terms of values, like Gert, Hert, the Wilders in Holland, with uh, uh, supporting same-sex marriage and so on. And uh, you have uh, a more conservative uh, populist in the south, Vox and uh, Salvini. But is Salvini a Christian in Italy? Salvini uh, uh, was the number two of the Lega Nord. The Lega Nord, uh, first, is not a nationalist movement. It was a movement uh, to have independence of uh, 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 northern Italy. And Lega Nord was explicitly a pagan movement. They rejected Christianity. Uh, because, of course, you know, uh, 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 they uh, were built on, uh, no, no, I don't love my neighbor at all. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's very, very explicit. You know. Uh, they invented a pagan uh, uh, mythology, you know, the sources of the, uh, 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 of the Po, of the river uh, Po, and so they had pagan ceremonies, uh, so, and they were uh, 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 fighting the church. Uh, when the, um, uh, uh, the former uh, Archbishop of Milano, Teta Manzi, uh, uh, gave hospitality to uh, migrants, you know, without uh, 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 papers uh, uh, in uh, his uh, church. 
he was uh, uh, attacked very, very violently by Salvini, uh, who said, we don't have a bishop, we have an imam. Uh -huh. This guy is an imam. Uh, uh, so, and even the uh, homophobia of the uh, Southern populists are not, it's not a Christian homophobia. It's not a secularized Christian homophobia. Uh, 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 they, uh, uh, they have no respect for the human being. Well, the church is trying, you know, sometimes they have a problem to combine. Uh, uh, but the church is trying to make a distinction between the condemnation of uh, homosexuality as a practice and the individual homosexual, uh, uh, who as long as he or she doesn't uh, practice, uh, is, uh, should be respected because he's a human being uh, 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 with the uh, uh, supposed you know, dignity of any uh, uh, human being. Uh, uh, while uh, Salvini is just uh, homophobic, you know, uh, because he thinks that uh, 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 homosexuals are just women, yeah, which is not exactly the position of the church on, uh, on the issue. <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, what we have in this populist movement, it's in fact, you know, um, uh, an egoistic turn of the values of the 60s. Uh, we love to enjoy, you know, but just <coughs> between ourselves. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the perfect expression of this feeling is a French writer, Renaud Camus, uh, who is, you know, a must among even uh, conservative Catholic cycles. Uh, the guy is an homosexual, uh, a militant, you know, uh, he's an atheist, hmm? uh, and he said, you know, how he, he, uh, he's strongly uh, against immigration. It's not just uh, against Islam, it's any kind of immigration. And the argument he gave to say uh, that uh, we cannot accept migrants is that, you know, uh, I had a lot of uh, uh, Arab lovers, you know, and I can tell you it's not exactly the same thing that our lovers, you know, well, which once again is not an argument that the church can use, you know. Uh, 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 <laughs> but the Catholic go to his lectures. <laughs> uh, uh, in the, um, the Catholic bookshop in Paris, La Procure, the two books who are, uh, who are selling the more is the Pope, well, of course, uh, uh, and Welbeck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 that's not exactly you know, the same conception of the Christian identity of uh, uh, Europe. So uh, we are here now. Uh, the populists are joined by many people from the left now, more and more. Because, in fact, uh, 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 they are themselves a product of the 60s. Yeah. Uh, and they really find that, uh, yes, maybe between ourselves is better. A good example is Manuel Valls, uh, our uh, former prime minister. Uh, um, so we have a, a, um, a clear collapse of both the Christian Democrats. They have no more rooms, yeah, uh, no more room in, in politics. Uh, and the Social Democrats. The two parties uh, which uh, founded Europe are in crisis everywhere. Maybe they kept the same name, like in Germany, but uh, 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 the party have sociologically changed from inside. Yeah. Yeah. While in uh, uh, Italy, they both collapse, totally collapse. Yeah. Uh, with the interesting thing that uh, in Italy, the bishops are more and more siding with the uh, Democratic Party, uh, which is supposed to be uh, the successor of the Socialist Party, because you have more uh, church-going people you know, in the uh, Partito Democratico than uh, in the two uh, um, populist movements, Cinque Stelle and... Uh, Cinque Stelle is are totally atheist, you know, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Lega, uh, Lega Nord, you know, uh, which is no more Nord, uh, but uh, the, the League. Mm. So, um, uh, the consequence is um, uh, that um, uh, what we, uh, the populists and people who uh, uh, advocate, you know, a closer of the borders uh, uh, and a curb on uh, practicing Islam in, in Europe, is uh, uh, they use the term Christian identity, but uh, they have a totally different set of values. Mm. Uh, the church agrees on Christian identity of Europe but uh, uh, on uh, its own terms, you know, uh, uh, which includes, uh, includes values of opening uh, uh, and so uh, And the last point is uh, the populist parties are supposedly 
sovereignist, nationalist. <coughs> but it's very interesting to see that, in fact, most of them are regionalist, including in Great Britain. So, uh, Brexit is an English issue, it's not a British. Uh, uh, in Italy, uh, Chilwestel is the south, and uh, Lega is the north. Uh, in Spain, until now, Vox is an Andalusian movement. In Belgium, uh, 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 you have, you know, uh, uh, flames against the uh, French speakers. It's, uh, you don't have a national populist uh, uh, movement. Uh, even in Germany, uh, uh, you have the Bavarian, you know, kind of uh, uh, Christian populism, if I can say that. Uh, 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 you have a different kind in uh, East Germany. So it's not a return to nationalism. No, it's more complex than that. And in a sense, you know, one of the few really European uh, institutions is still the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. because the Lutheran Church are national. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Calvinists are individuals. Well, uh, 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 so uh, 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 it's why the Church has a big, is very important, has a big role to play. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to uh, uh, I would say to try to separate what is left of the uh, Christian electorate from the populist. Uh, uh, but the church is very divided. Uh, uh, so that's uh, uh, another uh, issue. Uh, what is lacking is a common uh, European uh, spiritual imaginary, if I can say that. You know. uh, 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 the Europe of the uh, Christian Democrats and Social Democrats gave room for a bureaucratic uh, 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 European Union uh, uh, with no more values. So what we have now, it's a decline of references to values and uh, an extension of systems of normativity. From the populist side, you know, it's what they want is laws against. <coughs> Uh, uh, from the church side, you know, they have a problem. Uh, the Pope was very clear on that. We should not appear as uh, 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 normative people. We should appear as spiritual uh, people. Uh, but the church is still seen uh, 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 as uh, a system of uh, uh, producing normative systems. Uh, and laicity in France uh, is a purely normative system. Uh, you don't have any uh, uh, laic values. Uh, you have no values. Uh, uh, they say uh, laicity is tolerance. Uh, yes. Uh, and to be tolerant, we should expel religion from the public space. Well, uh, uh, explain me. Uh, how could you be tolerant and uh, at the cost of expelling you know, any kind of uh, uh, religious signs, manifestations, ideas from the public space. Because here we are in France. Eh? Uh, uh, if the um, president of a university finds a prayer uh, uh, carpet, you know, he calls the police. Uh, because it's a sign of radicalization. Uh, uh, and I have worst cases, but uh, uh, let's be optimist, you know. So. Uh, so, you see, the, the big problem is, is there. We do not have a shared common system of values in Europe. No? We have uh, very different and uh, 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 overlapping uh, 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 identity references, uh, which do not provide uh, any kind of alternative to the collapse of Europe. So, a Europe without a soul, uh, but no real alternative. No? Uh, uh, so it's a bad uh, uh, conclusion, uh, uh, conclusion, but many people already uh, achieved the same conclusion, so I will end on that. Thank you very much.